Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition Hard Mode, where today I'm going to be overriding the last save game I was playing just because I want to try and do something a little bit different today. I have been trying to practice a little bit on hard mode and it has gone about as expected, which is all, not always very great. But today, like I said, we're going to be doing something just a wee bit out of the ordinary. You see there's some ships that I still haven't unlocked, including some of the Type Bs. Now the Kestrel Type B... I can, there's a few different ways I can get it. Some of it involves a little bit of RNG or being next to a good store. The uh, slug type B really does require, uh, first off, good sector layouts and surviving. And then getting a transporter as well. So just some good positioning there. But I do have some good ships. Otherwise, today though, we're going to be going for the Federation B. Main reason is because... I can try and get a bunch of blue events by Sector 5, or I can try to get to Sector 5 without any upgrades, without 7. So we're just going to name this one Upgrade with 2Ds for a double dose of something you'll be dealing with here. So the Federation ship, what we're going to be playing today is no weapons other than the Burst Laser 2. Fortunately, Burst Laser 2 is one of the best weapons in the game. Now, I've done this on normal mode. Hard mode is a little rough around the edges for me to be honest but what we do here is really try and get a good sector one we want a good sector one and once we do that we can try and get some of the uh, defenses going before other bad things happen so that's kind of the plan here we're already getting boarded yeah Angie you can get into the rock ship that's fine I'll just let that carry on now the way these areas are laid out like this is of course our doors are already damage just a little bit. I don't need to worry too much about any damage or anything more. I can actually try and burst down their transporter, but he'll probably be transported away before the shot goes off. Yep. So a little bit of a waste. I need to target the weapon system so I don't get missiled again. Now what I usually like to do here is just, and I think I said this on stream the last time I was playing, is uh, move my crew around like this. So that way, we'll just go ahead and heal you as well, I guess. Because the artillery beam should do it if the other beam doesn't. The reason I like going like this is mainly because the rock... The rock person's pretty good at repairing. I need fast repairs for the weapons, even when I'm only with this. And I may actually switch the NG to uh, engines if it becomes too much of a problem. Let's go ahead and fight. Wow, this is a slightly more dangerous ship than anticipated. Could have actually possibly paid a little bit of scroll. Well, and see, look, we can just move this mantis over in here. And suddenly, it's a little bit more of a fair fight. Assuming I don't get missiled in the weapons. And I didn't. Though I'm a sitting duck now, so that's not great. Do I send the mantis in to repair? Oh. Things got real. Let's go ahead and heal up again so we got some spare power. Yeah, their weapons are offline, which is fantastic. Should probably target the weapon room again just to make sure that that doesn't become a thing when it repairs, but... I kind of like getting my shots in first. I'm not going to accept their surrender. I want them, I'm going for maximum scrap possible. Let's get that good old Mantis repair skill right here. The artillery beam is going to finish them off anyway. So, yay! Give us some time to lick our wounds. So this, so this first sector is going to feel, and really the second sector is too, is going to feel pretty normal. But the other issue is just going to be, can we make it to uh, sector 5? Which usually, think I can if I can play defensively enough, things go pretty well up to uh, about sector 5. And I'm, I'm not even going to worry about the store right now. I'm just going to get as many jumps as I can. First investment is very likely going to be in the shields. And then engines... And then, oh crap, stupid Zoltan shield. Artillery beam will not bust the Zoltan shield, but I should be able to get down before it fires. I just hate that it's a missile launcher. It always has to be a missile launcher. A little bit unlucky, but I got the dodge. Okay, so my shields are down. Thank you, heavy ion. It doesn't matter very much. Okay, one damage. At least it's a Leto missile, so I can accept that. Get one more shot, and hopefully not in the weapon system. All right, in the shields. We'll give you something to do, right, Jinpeg? I'm actually okay with that. 
take down the shields. Because our artillery beam is going to work its magic in just a moment. There we go. Let's get all those weapons offline. So I'd say, that's a ter did our artillery beam seriously only do two damage? Whoever's working that artillery beam needs to just not, not, not do that. All right, so a little bit more stuff. 49 scrap, so it is conceivable that we can uh, heal up here. And it is entirely possible that I go to Distress Beacons and get five. Okay, first off, let's not, so I almost accidentally surrendered to slavers. That wouldn't be good. Also not good, the potential for a missile in the shield room. So let's take out the weapon system first. I'm going to get one shot off. Uh, that beam drone can just be really scary. Alright, so not in the shields. Right in the shields. I've been playing on hard enough to know how to call this, I guess, right? Alright, so beam drone is now the biggest annoyance ever. Actually, all hands on the shield room. Wow, oh, okay. Suddenly it's like I'm on the stealth A. So this was this was starting off as a good run. And then uh Okay, so that's just whatever. We'll just we'll just hit the weapon system. Cause why not? Alright, we need oxygen repairs pronto. Maybe I should have surrendered to the slavers, I don't know. Look at all this fancy damage on okay, why is my shot not firing? All right, need a dodge, need to not get hit in the shields. Okay, that's okay. Artillery beam doing good. I'm gonna have to accept the crew member here because I've just taken too much damage. All right, so you are gonna go to shields. You need to repair. You can repair. We can all repair together here. Get you all out of there before you die. And then let's see here, NG is going to go back to weapon system. And we'll have you on doors. No, there's no mantis quite like a door mantis. Alright, so health is now an issue. But I have an additional crew member in case other bad things happen. Alright, so we can actually jump here, here, and then actually go around quite a bit. We have a pretty long sector one. It's a pretty good set of jumps if I just don't get killed which is kind of the usual big test. So I only have one layer of shields right now. I could probably go for two. But I'm just a little bit of scrap short. So we gotta hit this. We hit. Not as much as we wanted to. I have to take a quick pause here in just a second actually. Sorry about that. All right, and we're back with not too much different other me not clicking on the right thing here. Really did fortunately dodge some damage with that last laser shot, if that didn't get caught on camera. we so shields down. At least this one doesn't have cloaking. But yeah, one of the my first priorities is getting shields to level two, and then I'm actually going to be cranking up the artillery beam really hard because by the last sector that we'll be caring about here, wow, really, a map with information. Well, this does give, tell us that there's two ships here, and then we may want to just shoot for the exit, so that's not bad information. Since Actually, since it doesn't tell us that there's a store up here that we're going to be reaching, let's go ahead and get the two power there. That means if I need to micromanage a little bit, I can. So you may or may not hear a dog snoring in the background. Alright, so... Well, they hacked our shields, so... No micromanagement necessary this time. But they have no shield, so hopefully I can just take them down in one shot. Yeah, things die so fast. Oh, wow. On fire, even. Well, that's one damage that you hope to not take, but you can deal with just a little bit. A little bit unlucky, but my dodge chance is only 20%, so. Entirely manageable. I'm just going to have to focus on. Wow, didn't kill him. Going to have to focus on healing before too long. So do we got it? We got it. All right. Doors closing. Let's go ahead and upgrade the reactor one so we can just do this. And do I have enough jumps? I probably have enough jumps to do this fight, this fight, and go there. 
I said, I mainly, I need to get something that's going to get me healed up a little bit. Uh, you know what, I feel pretty good about this fight. If that fires too fast, it could take down my shields pretty hard, but I don't think that's going to happen. So you gotta, Sector 1 is really the place where you can, a good Sector 1 can mean very good things later on down the line. If you can get it. Yeah, that Ion Stunner is not going to do anything. It's just not hitting me fast enough. Although, poor Kirkner is just getting owned right now. We don't give hazard pay, we're trying to save the Federation, so. Just take down their shields and try and make this a little faster, especially if they try and run away. And yeah, let's see if the artillery beam does a little more than two damage by going from these few rooms. Alright, and fire. Yeah, they offer Mort, another crew member. Do I take the additional crew member? If I was playing this normal and straight on, I would say having two Mantis is nice for a possible boarding team. I do like having a lot of scrap, but I'm actually going to take the extra crew member here this time. If only because I can put them on sensors for now. And if the opportunity arises for me to get a transporter, that is another really good way to circumvent the uh, weapon limitation. So very positive Sector 1, lots of crew, not a lot of events, and you'll regret this decision. They, uh, we have other doggy drama. I said I heard dogs snoring before, now they're awake and pissed off. Yay, okay, so I can just shoot the shields here. Don't need to worry about it. You can go on auto fire. So crew transporter would be a very good thing to get. Because it's not a weapon. So we're not upgrading our weapon systems. I'm on level 2 shields. So this might mean I need to play uh, Sector 2 really hard. Alright. Just having some serious accuracy issues here today. So right now I don't have a lot in the way of combat experience, but at least with my man scanners and man doors some pretty good stuff going. That's a terrible surrender offer. And you all can suck it just a little bit. Yeah, with all those misses, it's just a real stinker. And this is where we are. One more shot will do it. There's no way they dodge this. Unless they have autopilot and have 25% dodge, but you don't normally see that even on hard sector one. Okay, Halberd Beam. That's cute. It's like the game is just tantalizing me with uh, all this. When I did a practice run before that failed horribly uh, with this, I was getting all kinds of good gear offered to me by the game. So if I can actually make it to Sector 5 without upgrading, I have a really good loadout right now, and I have a very good crew for a boarding strategy, which doesn't do nearly as much against the flagship, but... Getting to the flagship is a big deal. All right, so we don't need to hire anybody. Let's go to the exit. One of the better sector ones I've had in quite some time. Well, I mean, the option is also to sell the Halberd Beam if needed, but let's see here. Rebel controlled or NG controlled? I think we gotta go NG controlled. We're gonna try and go for the, uh, the benefit of going to the Rebel control is there's more fights, more scrap. NG controlled, you can have more positive things. Plus there's a much higher chance for a store and I'm gonna need, unfortunately, to buy some repairs which the halberd beam may go towards that. We'll try and jump this way. I'm decent on fuel, but not awesome on fuel, so I need some more successful fights. We investigate the battlefield and get nothing. Yeah, it's really interesting streaming before and people knowing all the percentages for all these events. Still no fights. That's not great. I want fights. I want to be able to gear up, listen to their problem. And then let's see here. Found malfunctioning mantis believes it's human will receive input only from human danger evaluation extremely high risk Let's send the human to communicate with the mantis. There we go. Mantis is grateful to see another human introduce himself as Robert Smith He explains there a nearby human colony would be appreciated to return there. So there we go Robert's family and the head engineer are excited to see him and they're very grateful for his return He, he ran away and joined the Federation like his older brother and we offer a position on our ship. So we have Robert Smith, and we have one, we have a lot of Mantis on the ship now, and he doesn't start with any skills. But boarding strategy never felt so tantalizing. 
yet so far away. Finally a fight. We just don't want to get missiled in the face, so we're gonna... Let's keep our dodge up like this. I can micromanage this a little more if the air supply becomes a problem. Plus I have all these mantises that can repair things. And if that's an Artemis missile that hits the shields, it's not going to be nearly a problem, but still a little bit of a point of irritation that all this time, still no store, got to get a repair in there. There we go. We're just going to keep pinning down the weapon system because, of course, they have an NG in there. Shoot it down. There we go. Their NG pilot is apparently like one of the worst pilots ever because all he's doing is just getting owned. But this is really this is really nice. Okay, good. One weapon power is all they need to repair. Should be finished off by the uh, artillery beam just fine. Scrap, please. Uh, 12 scrap will do. Store. So let's go jump back one, go to the store. See what goodies we can pop from a goodie hut. Let's see here. So, side with the uh, fugitive and fight the NG ship or agree and offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. This is a tough one. One of these gives me a crew, one of these gives me a fight. Let's uh, get that. So we get 20 scrap for the prisoner. We don't need any more. We don't need more mantis. We have enough. So that's 20 scrap can be very good going to the store. All right. Now here's what can happen. I can sell the the I can sell and not have enough for a crew teleporter. I could save right now. I think the plan is going to be to repair and save. Just buy out their fuel. I think the crew teleporter is going to be the way to go. My primary objective, I'm, and this is where my debate is, my primary objective is to get to Sector 5 without upgrading my weapon system. So the halberd beam doesn't help me there, but if I can get to Sector 5 without upgrading my weapon system, the halberd beam is going to be necessary for me to keep progressing in the game. Almost absolutely necessary. But it's, it's a tough choice, but considering what I said the goal of this run was before, we're going to do this. Crew, tra crew transporter is going to be good. In fact, I think that's where I'm going to set my next amount of scrap for upgrade, but we'll go for the faster artillery beam first because that is that is an important and necessary upgrade. So let's see. What are you connected to? Okay, we can, we can make a few jumps this way. Said so sector 2 transporter is very strong, but I didn't quite hit it. So let's see here. NG motivation, survival, transfer of goods acceptable, we're friendly, and they give us more stuff, which is nice. And Elizabeth actually needs some healing, so let's go ahead and make that a thing. Another store. All right. I'm going to feel like a real putz here in a second if I end up being able to get something from that store. All right, so we'll just jump up here. A little risky to do this mid-jump while Elizabeth's healing, but... Eh, that should be okay. Really, you wanna you you wanna board my ship. Here's the welcoming committee. You can, you can say hello. I'm gonna try and take out their bomb and stuff just in case. Yeah, you didn't expect a Federation ship to have this many mantis. Okay, I will happily let you all have the heavy laser up. Because I actually shut down that bomb just ahead of uh, any repairs. Alright, so. Heavy laser back down. So we'll take off the air for just a minute. Y'all don't really need to breathe, do you? Okay, so did I deactivate it in time for the bomb not to hit again? I think I did. That's pretty swell. So see, one upgrade already makes the artillery beam far more relevant. Five fuel is actually very important. I'm going to accept that surrender. So let's see, one store here. Ugh, I may not be able to make it to the exit without an extra jump. I was really hoping this wouldn't be a store. I don't really sell anything I need, and I don't really need repairs, so. I'll just keep on going, and yeah, that exit's going to be overtaken. 
That's too bad. All right, so we do have, uh, let's see here, strangely, scans indicate that there are no life forms and we salvage useful things. All right, so next sector. NG controlled or abandoned sector? Let's see which one will give us more options over here. Still always have that pipe dream of getting the uh, distress beacon. Plus, there's more options for crew member interaction in the uh, NG sector. We have one human interaction so far. All right, so laser boats, that's what I like to see. That is a, uh, I don't know if that's a heavy one or a heavy two. I'm kind of hoping it's not a heavy two because it'll sync up with the dual laser a little too well. All right, we still don't have air. Yep, it's a heavy two. This is This fight just got a little tougher. All right. We gotta burn through this ASAP. Shields up, shields up. All right, we're good now. So that first two damage, these things will cycle back around and then I won't have to worry about as much. Especially if we get a dodge on one, but Kirkner's gonna get some good experience and there we go, one one down. Of course you put the damn NG up there. A little interesting if the lasers fired in that room. Still kind of holding on to the hope of getting a crew transporter because this would be an awesome ship to transport onto. And no, that's not a very good surrender offer. We've got to watch for their lasers. I think they're going to be pretty well synced again, so. But this will kill them. Oh no, it didn't. All right. The fire damage well before my artillery beam goes off more than likely. Maybe, maybe not. All right, well, and if I just upgrade the artillery beam a little more, it wouldn't be like spiking the football right there. So there's another distress beacon. How's our crew doing? We have air. What upgrades are we really wanting here? I'm gonna need to upgrade the engines once before the end of the sector, just so when I get in a bad fight, I can run the hell away. But for now, let's see if we can get some uh, crew interaction here, so. Heal them for assistance, and let's try and shield, and we got four hole damage, which is not great, but we do have a store, and the store has a pretty good path to, uh, yeah, it's a really good path to the exit. Let's go ahead and hit the distress beacon. All right. So give them fuel. Laser charger. Damn, son. All right. Let's go over here and then to the store. Because I'm really hoping that store has a crew teleporter. That would be lovely. And let's give up. Let's exchange another mantis. And they're like, ha ha ha, it's a trap. The mantis, to attention, assumes Battle Stance it was a trap. So we have a border. You're probably going to die. But I do have two very loyal mantises on board. And that's a Defense 2 drone. So this is going to be a very interesting fight. Because that Defense 2 drone is going to cause some problems. And the halberd beam's probably going to be able to do some work. All right, so let's go ahead and get you guys right here so we can say hello. Yep, so shield one down already. There we go. Still going to take some halberd damage, but... And close those doors, too. Should have... I, what I should have done was micro to try and I get some more evasion chance. That's a mistake on my part. Oh good, so my shields got up in time. I did recover from the ion damage. I should be safe. Let's get Smith healed up though. All right, so weapons, as long as we can pin the weapons down, I don't really care about what much else is gonna happen because I ha the, what's gonna be doing the heavy lifting is, uh, okay, good. Halberd beam down, we're just gonna keep auto firing there. I know attacking the shields of their drone bay may be more effective, but that's what we have the artillery beam form to completely screw them up. All right. Overall, can't ask for much better than that. Okay, fire spreading over there, so fire's gonna do the work for me. Miss the drone bay. I don't think they will actually be able to, uh, you know, let's go ahead and shut it down. These guys are not going to be able to repair this in time and live. They're mantis. 
So they're, it's very possible that they suffocate because their weapon system's down. Now their systems may burn out and they may die before them, but we're going to give this a shot. He's going to take fire damage. They have no med bay. And the AI... Oh, that's too bad. So the flames just petered out. Well, it was worth trying. Because they are totally screwed now. Yeah, what I was thinking was just maybe if the fire would spread enough. I mean, there's still no air. That's probably better, actually. We'll just let them suffocate. I'm, I know it's a little gamey to do that, but it's extra scrap. And they're, they're not going to be able to repair and survive. So we can just sit and, like, I can drink some old coffee that's at the desk here. I don't know. Let's take it very nice and casual. That's why you don't double cross me when there's mantis fugitives. We just let them go. So there you go. With the crew dead, you're able to take the extra scrap, and golly gee willikers, it's another store. Of course, that's the store we're going after the whole time. 110 scrap transporter, yes. And an automated reloader, which is also good. A repair arm, which is good. These are all actually pretty good augments. But the teleporter is going to be the way to go. And I really want to get some repairs in. So let's sell the laser charger. Once again, not awesome on fuel, but I am going to need some more system power for this. So, one, two, three, four. We're okay. We're okay. And who's going to be boarding Team Alpha? Smith and Jinpeg or Mort? Could go very Mantis A on this with the two-person transporter and just try and run a bunch of people in there, including Elizabeth. So I do actually have four viable boarding members if I want to upgrade my teleporter that much. And sometimes that could be worthwhile. But yeah, when is the last time I've when's the last time I had a hard mission or a hard game where I was able to actually use a transporter? It's been a really long time. Okay, so we have NG remotely repair the targeting system. That's two events. How many do we need? Use your crew and four special blue event choices by sector five. So we're halfway there, but we're over halfway through the sectors. A little rough. Let's see how we go. Oh, repair burst. That's cute. So we're just going to go up here, jump, and I can actually skip the exit and come back, which is pretty nice. You can also go up this way, back on. That's probably better. I just want to get as many jumps in as I can. I know I'm not trying to upgrade the systems, but let's attack. I want to know if it's Mantis on board, because if it's Mantis on board with a med bay, that's going to change things a little bit. All right, two Mantis, one not Mantis. This is actually a little risky for me to try and go in like that. I may need to soften them up with my weapons just a little bit. Plus, don't forget, kiddos, artillery beam plus uh, boarding is not always advisable for reasons you may well understand. And it's very easy for your crew to die. Oh, right in the med bay. Oh, we can fix that. That's going to be one hull damage I don't really like taking, but... Okay, this is a two-shield ship, so... This fight's going to be a little more complicated. I'm actually going to have to... I may have to throw some more people at this before long. All right. Alright, so their weapon system's down again. Firebomb is not fantastic here. Let's see what the artillery beam does, because that's going to dictate a lot of what happens whether I board this ship. Yeah, there's, it, that ship only has three health. The O2's down. Their med bay's up. So if I can hit their med bay and actually take it out, I've got a shot. But I don't want to over damage them. And I definitely don't want my oxygen being taken out right now, so that's not good. Actually, call this a higher priority repair right now. So let's see. Their med base still up, so I so I can't I can't board them. I just can't. Yeah, I guess we don't. Why am I vacating all the air? That's actually a really dumb idea. Okay, so they're good. 
Yeah, it's it's it sucks a little bit to have like, hey, look, I can board these guys and then not do it. Good. That's that's where I like taking out the firebomb. All right. So Kirkner, not too happy. Let's see if we can get the engine in there to repair. Yeah, that's a really sticky firebomb. Little, little too annoying. There we go. So boarding will have to wait another day. Let's go ahead. You're good. You need healing, and I think that's about time for an episode. I oh man, I could have totally. What am I not micromanaging? I'm just missing all these good moves I can make because there's another store. Might as well go ahead and see what they have. There's. Probably not going to buy too much. Clone Bay is very interesting with the boarding strategy. It helps me a lot. Long range scanners helps me a lot. Repair, Repairing system damage is not a heal bomb, so it doesn't help me as much. Now let's see. If I were just doing this as a normal run, I would really think about the Clone Bay. I would really think about it. It can be so good with boarding teams. But I'm going to have to go with the long range scanners just because they do so much work, especially when the next sector is going to be pretty dangerous. Let's see, do we have another? There's no way there's three stores near here now, but we got two more jumps. So this episode, I can probably safely end it here, but I kind of want to go just a little bit longer. But I think that's maybe the sign of a good run or a fun run is that, okay, we have two people sitting in here now. Let's do it like this. So I think I'm going to stop this episode here. We'll continue next time, Sector 3. My first goal is to see if I can actually get to Sector 5. I think I have the, the stuff to do it. I really do. But that will be revealed in the next episode. That's it for now. This is a way to fail with FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode Boarding Team. Let's make it happen. Take care.